Hello everyone, welcome to Dark Marketing. I'm your host, Big Dom. And in today's video, I wanna talk about Money Robot and how I use it very effectively with chat, GPT-4. And we'll talk about both a little bit, but I wanna share a very real world example of something that I just did. Now, yesterday I just posted a video on the VPN overview of the five VPNs that I used and are, are my top five picks. So this morning I wanted to make a backlinking post to help promote this video using Money Robot. And my tool of choice for creating the content is ChatGPT4, and I'm using the AI PRM Chrome extension. It's free. You can Google it. And once you get it in here, you'll get all of these very nice prompts. And they have an infinite list here, as you can see. They have 2,799 prompts available. But you've got to really sort through them. Now, one I use frequently is Outrank Article. But what I did in this particular case is I use this. Full, fully SEO op optimized article including FAQs. 100% unique, plagiarism free, blah, 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 tags, or, uh, or maybe I wrote best article to rank Google and I just gave it a one-liner. And so basically, this is what I fed it. Top five VPNs review, colon, and then I gave the five VPN names. And it wrote this content, which turned out to be quite accurate. So I took this basic content here and I now entered it into another prompt to give me a human re-like rewriter. And the output that I got was very nice, okay? Top 5 VPNs review, ExpressVPN, Hotspot Shield, NordVPN, Atlas VPN, Surfshark, etc., etc. Gives a nice little introduction, outline, FAQs, and goes through everything. And I had a little pause in here. Sometimes it hangs, so you hit the continue and it continues. So you want to omit that when you copy and paste that. But basically, I took all of this additional content. From here, I just basically took all of this, copied it. Now, basically, I take this and pop this into an editor and edit it first, but we're not going to go through that process, obviously. Here, because, you know, you want to cut out anything that's not, you know, doesn't format properly. I don't always include, for example, you know, a lot of times, like especially with blogs, if I'm actually creating a blog, I'm giving it a lot of direction in the process of creating it. So there'll be things in here that I don't want. I take out the words conclusion, little aspects like that. But I make some, at the very least, a few small edits, okay? And then I take that content and I'm just literally can now paste it into here. We have our little continue writing, please. You see my name. But this was all at the FAQ at the end. And now, oh, we've got a nice little article going on. And this is for my video. So I go to my video. Oh, I have vidIQ. Ah, here we go. And I take all of my keywords here that I put in my video, my tags, and I copy that. And then what I like to do is open up Notepad++. Plus Plus. This is one of my favorite free apps. It's very useful. Editor, editing code, everything. I take all of these. I highlight it. I hit Alt and U and it capitalizes the first letter of every word which we want when we paste these keywords into here because this will use this to create titles. Now, I could 
put titles in here or I can just say, you know, there's two approaches. Sometimes I take all my, I take my content out and I just let it create the unique article just to give me the titles. Okay, so let's just give this a minute here. I'll pause the video. Okay, now, Money Robot has generated both the content and the titles. But one of the reasons I like to let it do the titles is because it's going to take these keywords and use them in its title creation process. And I would rather have all of these variations than have a specific variation of just a single title where it's just, you know, switching out a few uh, semantically different words. That's not, you know, going to give us the best overall effect. So now that I've got my titles, I can get rid of this and put my content in. Okay, and once I've done that, I like to give it a little space, I'll have it spin this article. Now I've got the article spun. Now that I've got that, let's go over to my video because I'm going to need my video link which I'm going to put in here and then what I want to do here is get the embed for my video and copy the whole thing come back over here and insert it into my video okay and then I like to start this section with a center tag and let's just preview that and voila okay and in there is one of our keywords of course obviously I got my name still in there so obviously this would need cleaned up a little bit but you get the idea of how to do a solid construction and this of course is just the basis of the content because when they get actually put into the post many of these blog sites will automatically put a header image in that it feels is as close a match usually somebody with a, their hands over a laptop or something along those lines after the post is created but this is the basic thing that I just did a very simple fast campaign then I set it for just a day or two and I let it run and this is the identical approach that I just used to set up a campaign not two hours before starting recording this video now that being said chat GPT 3 has become my top tool for all AI writing content okay I don't I have stopped using all other third-party products because I pay the $20 a month for this which helps guarantee that you don't have downtime when they're overloaded and I'm able to use multiple um, laptops at the same time I can be logged into I think three or four at a time successfully and be generating different articles I use it very successfully to create work on my own blog content however I give it a tremendous amount of direction and I go in and make my own edits and give it the very human touch so it's not really you know just sort of me giving it a title and spitting out a blog article because for the type of work that I do it's just not capable of doing that so let's take a look at another way that you can also handle this with money robot keep something in mind that you can load articles from a folder okay and what that means is now you can just create a folder on your hard drive put uh take the output from your chat gpt3 articles that you create and load each one into a separate text file the naming convention doesn't matter you're only going to select a directory and it will select all of the text files in that directory remember to keep in the text file to keep one line of space between the title and the rest of the content it will use the first line of text in your text file for the title and then it will spin all of them so you can pre-create and really diversify 
your campaigns more broadly. But for a video where I'm just trying to do something to give my video a little kick in some ranking, this is completely adequate and 100% very fast track approach. And that's one of the things I like about Money Robot is that you can do things, you can, you can assemble a campaign very quickly, you know, as opposed to some other products. They take quite a bit of time. And when we talk about tiering structures, I think about Money Robot as being sort of the bottom tier of my tiering process up to the Money website. Because the type of links that Money Robot's going to create in its backlinking, it's excellent in its giving social signals, but with the, with the post, they're going to mostly be low DR sites. So having really good quality posts that go a long way. And when you can diversify, look, if you get, you know, 6,000 blog, PBN blog posts, Web.20 blog post out of a campaign, combined with various other things that, you know, depending on the, the particular diagram that you choose, or if you draw your own diagrams, you'll get roughly up to 10,000 links. And just under that number, I find from time to time. Depends on the diagram, but of course, you want diversification. That's a lot of posts. So if you now have six spun articles that have similar content, you'll go a lot further with that. So this is just a fast track approach to that, to how to do a very successful, safe, low level backlinking campaign. And you know, for this reason, I can do a lot of these very frequently for a range of different things. And I run four copies pretty much around the clock, 24 seven. Now, while this is a very simple but effective approach, generally I put quite a bit more work into my campaigns. And the reason is we want to break away from patterns. Patterns that are detectable, that even Google will recognize as being AI. So when we, when we employ chat GPT-4, you're going to find, as you get comfortable with some of these prompts, that they output the content in an identical format almost every time. And so you've got an introduction, a table of contents, then it will start going through the article piece by piece. You may have an FAQ at the bottom, et cetera, et cetera, and it will always end with conclusion. Or So what I try to do is break away from those patterns and mix that content up. And obviously, if you're using it for article real blog creation you're going to put a bit more work into it and give it lots of direction you're, you're not going to be successful to just use a prompt and give it one sentence and say write me a blog and think that you're going to post that on your blog site and it's going to be usable that's you know a pipe dream but you can do a lot of very super effective blog writing by giving it some really good direction by starting off with that approach seeing what kinds of feedback it gives you and then take what you want and start to say this is useful or you can give it a lot of parameters in the beginning you can also at the end of every thing that you enter into the prompt you can say ask it do you understand this so it will pause before it actually writes and you can keep giving it direction until you finally trigger it to give the final uh, output so let's just take a look at another approach okay so that was just a simple YouTube approach that I don't have to put a lot of work into. But if I really want to do something like, okay, I've got a blog article on my site that I wrote and I want to I want to backlink this this article. So, I'm going to take the link from my article and I'm going to go to ChatGPT3 and I'm going to ask it to outrank my article. And I might use several prompts of different types to see what kinds of output it gives me and use oops multiple variations this was sitting here a while so it needs a refresh oh we're on chat gpt3 let's get on the four i'm going to click outrank article i'm going to give it the url of my article because that is what i want to backlink to and i let it create the content for that and now I might create 
four variations of this using different prompts. And what I will do is take that content and load it into a text file, separating the title on a, the first line from the rest of the content so that Money Robot knows that's the title. And it will spin each title for the article that it's using for that particular post. And I'll do four or six of those in that fashion. And then what I'll do is I'll go to Money Robot when I make my campaign. I'll put the URL of the site in here that I want to backlink to. Now, this is just for I want to create a backlinking campaign for a single post. So I'm not going to necessarily do a whole lot of a whole range of uh, articles. If I'm just going to do a single post, I'll use a single article. But in many cases, what you want to do is you've got articles that all fit the SEO genre. You can you can make a nice campaign with multiple URLs in here because you want to diversify it. A nice range of keywords related to the SEO or particular genre that you're filling your content about that fits the whole range of those articles. Okay? And then now you have multiple articles to run through chat gpt3 to basically create rewrites of your content that you're just going to use to backlink to your articles and in the end all you're going to have to do then is load your urls in here load your keywords in here you're you're not going to need titles or body and you're going to load from a folder once you select that folder whatever Whatever text files you have in that folder will all be included. And of course, you want to select spin articles from folder, and that's going to give you a nice piece of diversification. Now, another thing you can do, a little tip, as you start to really learn to evolve your content so it reads pro for Google and other sources that are not going to really be these are not going to be showing up in Google, but Google is going to be made aware of them at some later stage. And that's the idea that they rank upwards. Now, here's a little piece of code. And let's just say I'm really promoting my backlinking services. So you can take a linking code, basic linking code, and add it into the actual uh, post whether you're doing it in the text file or you're loading it you know on a single if you're just doing a single article you can put it in the single article like you know uh, the code and let's just examine that because look what I've done here is I've used some spin tax I have the opening bracket I have the URL to my home page I have the breaker bar or separator bar and then I have a second URL to my blog then I have the anchor text. Now, anchor text is very important. This is a simple example. I'm just using the phrase backlinking services and backlinking. This is, as I said, just for a simple example. But when I take this and we put it into here and we select preview, what we're getting, the website it has no link because we don't have a link up here. But if I take the link, we take the link of this article, now if I have 10 links, it's going to switch between them every time. But, and those links it creates are generic. They're words like read more, click here, yeah, here, check here. But the ones that I create have the anchor text. And you see the link at the bottom when I have my mouse over, it shows down here. One is to the blog. I spin it again, and it's to the depot. So you can imagine, you can do some creative things. You could make some keyword lists that rotate with 
also against either a single link or a variety of links using your creativity and your judgment based on the content that you're putting inside here. So this is a good starting approach for making these type of campaigns because guys, look, Money Robot is not going to change your universe unless you use it frequently because what you really want to be doing is laying down lots of backlinks for your primary resource that you're trying to build that SEO ranking for. And <coughs> in order to do that, you're going to have to learn how to change things up because you can't just run campaign after camp, you know, keep, you know, you can take a campaign and right click on it and then clone that project and try to modify it. But that's, you know, I found that doesn't really work out that well because it just, at the end of the day, it just creates too many, too much redundancy. And what you really want to do is make every campaign unique. And you want to, you want to play with when you have times to do, to focus on a single URL or groups of URLs, a small range of phrases or a larger range of phrases, a single article for providing that backlinking content or a crap load of articles. Because in truth, you can never have too many. You could really have a super nice diversified campaign providing you have the sort of content and metrics for that. Just like I used that example with the baking sites. In those types of genres, the possibilities are infinite because you can really get like, you know, very nice diverse campaigns have 10 or 12 URLs to articles, keywords that overlap for all of those articles and, and tons of content for the basis to generate the back length version of that. What you're taking is your own content or, you know, at times, I mean, you could literally be taking your rewriting content from your competitors and trying to create an optimized low level version that's going to help your backlinking profile. Because at the end of the day, those same metrics that we look at uh, that I covered in the video with hrefs those backlinks are being detected by google even though it's not presenting it in its search results it's using it in its scoring mechanisms and those relationships and keeping a, a very frequent backlinking profile so that there's always new ones going on but look google's not stupid at some point you've got to be creating new content to add into the backlinking profiles the more every time you add a page you create the potential for another 10,000 backlinks that you want to put to that and mixing it into other campaigns and growing the base diversifying it and trying to s avoid patterns as much as possible and that's what's going to give you some good things and the anchor text is a really good tip here to use and look just I, I also forgot to point this out because like even me you know, I'm doing stuff. I, I know my, my work and code. and But sometimes I've got so many things going on and I work with so much stuff. I said, hey, I just need to, I just wanted the, the code. My head was foggy. So I asked it and it outputted the basic link text for me. So I could just take it and paste it in. And I just said, Create the code for Anchor Text link. Anchor Text is backlinking services, and the link is SEO Depot. And it just gave me that. Two seconds, I copied and pasted. I dropped it into a text file, and I added a little spin text. And that's basically it. Now, I only am spinning between two things, two URLs and two keywords, but, you know, there's no limit. You can, you can add more, like, you know, SEO backlink and SEO and each one I add will add another variation so the more that you put in there you can make some really nice diversified um, campaigns but using your brain don't go all over the place everything should be in the context and all of the words and phrases should apply to all of your articles and content if you're using more than one so I just wanted to share that with you guys as you could see because this morning I went to my channel and I saw I had some nice starting views in just 20 hours and I wanted to supplement that. Now, one quick reminder while I think about it. One thing I do not use is 
the video options with this where you can add your URL for your video and it will drive up the uh, links on your uh, your visits and views but look YouTube detects that I you know last year when I first started trying to do some you know YouTube promotion with this it would drive up the views on my videos on other channels but then YouTube would adjust and come back and remove them and of course if they can detect it as a bot and that's really what that thing is doing then most likely they're going to apply a negative score to that sort of thing and uh because they frown upon you know any kind of artificial approaches so in terms of like crt or that sort of thing so i would you know i always avoid that rather that i'm creating a post that has that content and most importantly has the youtube video in has the youtube video embedded in the post and the reason from the content and the reason is when people see that you know those pages will get visited at some point and some users will see it and the video is the main attraction and that is what they will click on and that is what they will watch and that will provide some actual user value not huge but some and that's important to start to feed into your metrics that these resources are real because obviously a lot of times if you don't have a video in those postings that you do with money robot they're less effective no matter how good they may be constructed and that's because they will rarely generate actual visitors unless you embed images in here or anything else with some you know very elaborate um campaign design and that's why YouTube is such a critical factor in this because it becomes the lead-in that will actually trigger real traffic and the opportunity for them that they'll actually you'll get views to your website and your video most importantly and that's what this campaign is about it's about me promoting my videos in that regard when I do them with blogs I put a bit more work in so we touched upon that a little bit but I just wanted to share that with you guys in real time and that's it for this video as always remember to give it a like Remember to follow us and there will be more to come.